What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Samsung just announced the new Galaxy S3. Now the Android based Samsung Galaxy S3 it offers a large 4.8 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1280 by 720. Now the device has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera and a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera which is going to be used for face recognition and tracking features. Samsung is putting the emphasis on the natural interaction on this phone and it does come with the voice assistant that does sound very much like Apple's Siri. Now with the release of today's phone, Samsung also debuted its Smart Stay feature. For browsing the web or actually reading a book, you're going to have this device looking at your eyes, um, which is a little weird, but you're going to have it looking at your eyes and sensing when you're actually looking at the device itself. When you're looking at the device, it will not uh, turn off or initiate the sleep feature. Now the Galaxy S3 features S-Voice. This is an advanced language and user interface. Like for instance, if your alarm goes off and you are still tired, you can say snooze and the phone will recognize that you want to sleep for a little bit longer. You can also use S-Voice to listen to your favorite songs, send emails, set reminders, and play songs. Now in addition to recognizing your face and voice, it also recognizes your movements. So for instance, if you're messaging someone and you decide to put the phone up to your ear, it's going to automatically call that sender and know that you chose to change your mind and make the call instead of send the text message. Another feature announced was pop-up play, which allows users to play videos on their screen while using apps. So basically you're going to be able to split your screen kind of like a desktop. Now the camera has been much improved with zero lag shutter. And also they did adapt the new burst mode as well as the new NFC technology. Samsung has also partnered with Dropbox for users of the Samsung Galaxy S3 to receive 50 gigabytes of data free for the next two years. This is a deal that will be extended to all Samsung users and uh, Dropbox will also be a standard application that Samsung will be putting into their OS from now on. Now the upcoming iOS 5.1 untethered jailbreak will require 5 to 7 exploits, says Pod2G and PO6Ninja. Both the introducers of the untethered jailbreak go on to say in a tweet that this is one of their hardest jailbreaks that they've ever had to accomplish, but they do go on to say that we have nothing to worry about, that they are working very hard, and that they are the best team out there, and they are truly the dream team, and they are going to get this uh, untethered jailbreak out to us very soon. Now I got a question for you. How many iOS developers are willing to come up with the kernel exploits to come up with the jailbreak that we need out there? Leave it down in the comments if you guys uh, know anything about that and are willing to, uh, or even an iOS developer, and willing to develop and come up with kernels to bypass and uh, get through this jailbreak. Let me know down in the comments if you think that uh, free jailbreak tools are sustainable or not. Now there has been a few more images coming out of the next iPhone 5 and they appear to have a thinner form factor as well as a longer form factor with a smaller dock connector that Apple is planning to introduce. Now here's a couple of things that we pretty much know for sure and can guarantee that the iPhone will be thinner and will be a little bit longer. The back will more than likely have a metal back panel and there will be a new standard dock connector. Now let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the new form factor. Do you think Apple will implement the new dock connector? They have been talking about making this new dock connector uh, in all their new devices. Now this next story is pretty impressive. This comes from a student that animates an impressive iPhone ad pop-up cartoon uh, diorama. This young artist student uh, whipped up a 24 second uh, iPhone ad and a 3D iPhone ad at that that um, does look pretty nice and pretty impressive. I'll go ahead and let you guys take a look by leaving a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Apple Talk Daily. See you guys around the channel.